uh, that is to be witnessed uh, in Azizabad? Well, the uh, situation is uh, pretty tense, I would say. There's a lot of security around the, uh, the Jinnah ground where Hello. the funeral prayers will be held. Uh, police and Hello. rangers have been deputed uh, on all main points and NQM volunteers are themselves uh, taking control of the security. They have uh, uh, arranged their, their own pickets and they're checking every person that is coming in, including the, uh, the media personnel. Now, I'm standing in the Jinnah ground where the funeral prayers will be held. I can see rangers, uh, they have brought their uh, sniffer dogs and they're checking each and every patch of the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, I can see on the rooftops there are people uh, who are watching the ground. Uh, there are uh, snipers on the, on, the, on the rooftops and there is a, a large presence of police uh, right. uh, around the, uh, the, the, the Jinnah ground. Maria? Right. Uh, Mr. Roo, I want to ask you that, of course, uh, a lot of people, many people would uh, want to come and pay their uh, tribute to uh, their final tribute to uh, the late MQM leader. So how are the law enforcement agencies, are they walk through gates, how are they going to check, how are they going to check each and every person entering the Jinnah Stadium? That's my question. Well, yes, that's, uh, that's uh, very intriguing. Uh, it's, there's, there's no way of checking each and every person, but I'm told there are walk-through gates mm -hmm. uh, where people will be checked for, uh, for, any, uh, for carrying any weapons. Uh, right. uh, there are people who are keeping a watch on uh, every, every passerby, uh, the, the cars and all vehicles. There's, there's very thin traffic in the city mm -hmm. anyway, but uh, the cars that are moving towards Azizabad are being checked on every packet. And uh, I mean, uh, they're trying to make it a foolproof um, uh, security, but then anything could happen. Now, uh, in the Jinnah ground, we, we are expecting that uh, Interior Minister Rahman Malik will also right. participate, and we're expecting that the, the top leadership of NQM will be here. So this is a very critical ground, and it's a very critical moment in NQM's history and the history of Karachi, right. where uh, the entire leadership is going to be here, and it, the, the police and rangers have warned that uh, there could be a, a risk of a terrorist attack as well, Maria. Right. And uh, Masru, roughly how many people, I know you can't give us an exact estimate, but uh, roughly how many people is uh, the MQM leadership expecting to be present at this uh, funeral? Well, the figures vary. Uh, uh, the, uh, the top leadership is saying that it could be uh, um, millions of people. Uh, now, uh, uh, it's, it's beyond comprehension how uh, that's much, that much people will fit in this crowd. Mm -hmm. But then it could be, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, you know, uh, lots of people, uh, lots of people have come from Hyderabad and right. other strongholds of NQM and there are people from NQM, uh, from Karachi itself, who will be converging uh, in this crowd to, uh, to offer the final homage to, uh, to one of their very revered leaders. Right. And Ms. Runa, uh, there's a lot of uh, confusion with regards uh, to uh, the body being uh, airlifted to the Jinnah ground, uh, to Azizabad. Uh, can you see any arrangements at the site in this regard? Well, Maria, the, uh, the police and MKM itself, they were tight-lipped uh, tight till last night. They were not telling us whether the body will be flown in by a helicopter or uh, whether it will be brought here in the, in the shape of a procession. So the options are open, but uh, the uh, most likelihood is that the body will be flown in by helicopter, mm -hmm. which is uh, less of a security risk and uh, it's going to be over pretty, pretty soon. And that's what the, uh, the Karachi administration, the Karachi uh, uh, security and the MKM itself, they want this event to pass very peacefully and they want to avoid any uh, untoward incident that may right. happen uh, on this occasion. Right, and Mr. Runa, uh, how long will it be before uh, the body arrives at uh, uh, the uh, Jinnah Stadium in Azizabad? Uh, is any time frame being given? We do know that it was to arrive at uh, 9, it didn't arrive at 9, so anything on uh, that front? Well, it's arriving by PK Flight 788, uh, which is expected to land uh, at about 10 uh, um, uh, this morning. Uh, now, uh, it could take about uh, an hour if, it, if it's flown by mm -hmm. a helicopter, and it, it could take a lot more uh, longer if it's uh, brought into procession. Right. So, uh, we, we are expecting about uh, 2 to 3 p.m. when the body will arrive here and the funeral will start um, uh, in, the, in the Jinnah ground. Thank you, Masroor, uh, for that update. Masroor Hussain, our correspondent stationed at uh, the Jinnah Stadium in Azizabad, where uh, the funeral prayers of uh, the late MQM leader, Dr. Imran Farooq, will be offered. Now, uh,